Hello, welcome to my channel. So I thought I would do a icy looking coloured type of nail. And I got this like, I don't know what you call it, it's really pretty stuff, but I don't know what it's called. Natalie, Mar I saw Natalie Margaret use it the other day and it actually reminded me I had it, so I thought okay. So I tried to stick it on with gel, that didn't work. So I got my nail train hand glue and I just put a layer of that on and I just held it on there. It was a bit tricky, I'm not going to lie. I was going to put it down with plastic and I thought, I was getting a bit paranoid thinking maybe the plastic might soak, the glue would soak through the material and stick and I was like, no, I don't want to do that. So I just held it on there until it dried, it took a bit of time, but you know, I left this bit in. I did cut a lot of this video out and I have sped up loads, because oh my gosh, there's so much dust everywhere. Um, I have sped up loads, so um, yeah, so I've just, I glued it on and then once it was set, I just cut it around the edges and then I put a base coat on it just to stick it to it and then um, I put a couple of tops of co top coat and then I filed it into shape and that's all I did with that now at this moment in time um, so then what I did was with the other nails I kept it all in because you know I might as well I kept it all in because it's, it's an honest video of what it is right so I painted white I'm not very good I don't know why I just can't see I mean I can paint your color on not too bad but white I find difficult, white and black I find really difficult to get a nice even layer. Apparently it is difficult to paint them colours but I'm just, I do find it difficult. But I just thought I've got to leave it in because, yeah. So it's had two coats um, and now I'm going, oh what did I give that? What am I putting on there? Oh yeah, yeah, duh. Because I'm a duh brain, I forgot to do something. So because I'm using this, this thing to hold my tips on because my other one of my chest pieces are being used by the things. I didn't think about this until I'd actually done it. So I put a top coat on, because it's got to be a non thick, long white top coat. I put that on, and then I sprinkled the glitter on, and then I realised it got stuck to the other nail, because I hadn't put a top coat on it to protect it. Duh. So if, you got, if you're doing it like this, put a top coat on to protect the nail next to it. Oh, I just thought I'd show you that the little pe bits and pieces that I cut off, I put in a little pot because I saved them. I had, listen, doing all this nail art, it's quite expensive, so I save all the little bits and pieces I possibly can. So now what I did was I got a bit of acrylic paint because I, I couldn't be bothered with my gels. And I'm just sort of like winging this actually, as, as you do. Just thought, let me just try something. So I've got a bit of blue on one side of my palette and a bit of white on the other and I'm just getting a fine liner brush and I'm just going through around the edges like a <clears throat> sort of like a frosty look so um, as far as I understand it when you're painting something you always start off with the light colours first I'm not sure I'm not an artist I don't know don't quote me on that and then you just build up your colour by going darker a darker 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 so I just did that, like a frosty look around my nail because I thought, okay. I was going to put a design in the middle and then I tried it, it looked stupid so I took it off. So it's just going to be this nail like this. And with acrylic paint, I like with acrylic paint because with acrylic paint you can paint it and it dries so quickly. But I do, when I do painting, I always paint on a matte top coat anyway. I don't paint on a glossy top, glossy top coat, as Natalie Muggles would say. So I thought, what am I going to do on these little, like, mermaid scaly type of nail so I thought I'll paint some hollies I'll paint white hollies with blueberries so that's what I did I only done a couple because I just don't want to go too mad I just thought mm. I'm, I'm just like I'll tell you something I'm my own worst critic I'll tell you whatever people say don't bother me my own worst criticism I am my worst critic I think we all are so I'll just do my hollies and then I'll add me little blueberries um, I'm just tattering and blabbering on. How's everyone's doing? Everyone got their Christmas shopping yet? I ain't. I ain't. I've been trying to get an Xbox console, Xbox X console for my husband, and it's like rocking horse poo. You can't get it. You can't get it for anything. Well, you can't get anything. My mum makes a trifle. Do you think that anywhere in Britain you can get blancmange? No. Trust me. You go and try and find a blancmange powder, and I will. I don't know, eat my hat. <laughs> I couldn't, I can't, I had to go to the manufacturers and I'm like, mm, I don't mind paying £1.15 for a packet of blancmange, but then how much are you going to charge with postage? Mm. So here you go, blueberries. 
See, with acrylic paints, you can just put them on and dry so quickly. I love it. So my mum actually managed to get some blancmange powder. So she, she'll be making her trifle for Christmas Day for my husband and my daughter. I don't like trifle. I'm going to Christmas pudding. Thick double whipped cream. Oh my Lord. I'll tell you something. I'm so looking forward to my Christmas dinner. Anyway, deviating. Um, yeah, so I just thought I would just lighten up the blue a bit. Just a tiny little bit. Just mix it up and uh, add a little blue vein. See, with acrylic paints, and so, now I didn't realize my phone had turned off and when I turned it back on it, it'd gone straight. It had annoyed me, I didn't realize, so I weren't messing about. Um, yeah, with acrylic paints, if you make a palette and you've got paints on it and they dry, just add a little tiny drop of water and it just brings it back to life. <laughs> so what I'm doing here is I thought I'd make a bauble with the same glitter that I used on the whole finger, just to sort of tie in the look. So I've just done a base coat with uh, blue, with base coat, sprinkled it with the glitter, and then I baked that. And then what I did was I gave it a bit of a top, more base coat, so that when I brought it out, I, it will fill some of the ridges. Because you know I'm trying to make it round. It's not very circular, but you know it's round enough. Then I got um, Yo Yogi builded like gel stuff, and I just used that to make the bauble a bit baubly. Um, and then after that I just framed it because I realised it just didn't look very round after a while and then I framed it with uh, some silver gel paint and that is it I mean it's a real quick simple set you know it gives you a basic idea on what you could probably try to do you could do this on a long set of nails like long tips, short tips, whatever whatever flash boat ladies and gents um, yeah and now I'm just going over with my silver gel paint I got the, oh yeah, that was it. I put a bit of top coat on it to make it shiny and it annoyed me so I wiped it off and just left it, just done the bauble instead. But this is it, this is all my set. Um, let me know what you think. Hit a like, subscribe, the bell. I didn't know what to do with that white one so it's still blank. And I shall see you all later. You have a nice weekend and I'll speak to you during the week. Ta-da, bye.